Hey there, it's Kathy with Be Creative with Kathy. And um, I have a really nice, cute, pretty, oh well, card for you today. So we're going to use from the mini catalog on page 60, 50, uh oh, now I had a brain, 59. There we go. We're going to use this um, cottage wreath bundles cottage wreath bundles. Did I say that right? Anyway, really we're going to use almost the whole suite because dang, there is a lot of nice stuff on this page right here. Like, let me show you the designer series paper for starters. It's this big gingham buffalo check, just nice fall, Christmas, Halloween-y kind of paper. I mean, look how nice that paper. In fact, let me show you. I'll show you a card I did. I'm starting. I'm working on with that paper. But then it has these pretty fall colors, and like I said, this is the pattern we're going to use today. Look how big and chunky it is on that side, and then on this side it's smaller with the buffalo check kind of stuff. But this is great paper. So let me show you the card that I used with that orange. Well, it's in progress, like I said. Hopefully I'll do get it done and show you a video. But look how cute with the floating fly, um, spider in there. See how that little spider floats in there? It's going to be a cute card when and if, no, when, not if, I get it finished. But let me show you the stamp set. It looks like this. Like I said, it's got all those. It's got acorns for the fall. It's got a spider and boo for Halloween. But yet it has the Merry Christmas and the wreaths and the pretty bow. It's a really pretty stamp set. And then the dies are like, wow, look at all the dies that come in that set. You got your um, independent, I guess you call them, wreaths. You got all the stamps that cut out the images from the stamp set. It's just a really nice, nice bundle. Okay, and then let me show you the card that we're going to make today. So here it is. It looks like this. Now, I'm in a swap tonight. It's my upline, upline. You know, when you join Stampin' Up!, you join under a demonstrator. So we're a part of these little teams. And it's not my upline team, but the one above that, they're called Kindred Inkers. And this is going to be my swap for tonight. So see how I used those wreaths. Here's the bow from the die set too. And there's the little Merry Christmas from the stamp set. And in the inside, I stamp like this. So let me show you real quick how I made this card using all the products from that suite. I'm going to leave this right here so you can see it. There we go, right there. Okay, so the first thing we're going to start with is this is just a thick basic white card base. So what it is, it's eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a fourth. And before I fold it, I'm going to go ahead and stamp on it. So my stamps are here. I have them all set up on blocks already. I am going to bring in a words from the stamp set, A Christmas to Remember. Now this is a great stamp set. This was part of a huge suite last year with the holiday catalog that has carried over to the annual catalog. It has matching dies or coordinating dies that look like this. And then there's a whole nother bundle that goes in the same kind of suite too. And if you come back Friday, I'll show you how I use this. But I did, I'm going to use this love and joy come to you and may it last the whole year through. I think that's a really pretty saying for a Christmas card. So we're going to stamp that on the inside too using Now we're back. Sorry about that. Okay, quick intermission there. Okay, but then where was I? Oh, the real red is just part of the cardstock or the designer series paper color that I'm going to use. And I am going to um, emboss that bow in some gold embossing powder. So I'm going to bring in my little paper pal here and my embossing buddy. Now these are sold as a kit. It comes with the tweezers, the brush, the powder powder pal, which is the little tray here, and the embossing. You can find that as a little kit in the mini catalog too. But a little bit of um, embossing buddy on there takes all the static off your paper, and then you're going to get a better stamped image. So it's a little bit of Versamark. And while I'm stamping, I'm going to turn my heat gun on and let it heat up. I have it in a little holster here on my desk. It might be a little bit noisy, but I want that to get nice and warm. So I'm going to just take here and about the middle, a little bit above the center. I'm going to stamp in Versamark that little bow image. Let that ink sink in there. 
And then with a little bit of embossing powder here, I'm going to just dump it over my tray. And then just sprinkle it back in there. I get most of it in the little container and there I have that. I'm going to set that aside. And now that my heat gun is nice and warm, I'm going to start on the back of my cardstock. This just helps prevent it like from warping. It doesn't curl as much if I start at the back and then do the front. I think it just helps keep your paper flatter. Now it's not going to be perfect, but look how cute that little bow is. And my paper's just a little bit warped. It's not too bad. So then I'm going to take that real red and those words make sure I don't have them upside down. In fact, I'm going to bring in a scratch paper and just practice one time real quick here. Yep, that looks good. Okay. And stamp it down here under my bow. Try to get it straight. Drum roll, please. And there you go. So there's the inside of the card. Now I want to show you something about the inside of my card. A sample card here. I did take some of these pearl enamel effects and put a little dot right there on the inside now I'm not going to do it on this one because it took some time to dry and I'm not going to take time on the video but you could also do that and really I'd love your advice if you think it looks better let me show you again with the little enamel dot in there or without all right I'll show you how to use the enamel dots in just a second so let's layer some cardstock I have a piece of real red um, cardstock here. This is five and a fourth by four. And as usual, I would tell you, you could go to my blog and see my measurements. That's BeCreativeWithKathy.com. And the link is below. But right now, my blog is on the fritz again. And it won't be available for probably three or four more days. So if you're watching the video now, which is really July 25th, my blog won't be available. But after that, it should. So I need a little bit of tape runner on the back of my designer series paper. My designer series paper is, well, I can't do two things at once, three and three fourths by five. So it fits on that real red just right. And then I'm going to take that whoop, and put that right here on my card front. So, so far, so good like that okay now let's embellish the front so I'm gonna bring in first of all just a little scrap here of real red cardstock again I'm gonna emboss on this so I'm gonna bring in my embossing buddy a little bit get rid of that static I have that Merry Christmas from the stamp set a little bit more of the Versamark ink on there and now I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be really careful because this is such a small stamp. I'm not going to apply a lot of pressure. So I'm going to get a lot of ink from my ink pad and then just put a little bit of pressure here on my paper. So I don't smash the words that are on my stamp. And then because I use so much white embossing powder, I have a little pail like this. Just grab some of that white embossing powder, tap off. Let's see. If I have any flakes here, I'm going to use my brush to get rid of some of those extra little flakes. And then same thing again, my heat gun should still be warm. And I can melt that embossing powder right on, there we go, onto my paper like that. So then I have that little piece there ready to die cut. Okay, so let's bring in my plates for my die cut machine because we need to do a little bit of die cutting. I have, as you can see, um, platform number one, plate number two, cutting pad number three, and then I'm going to lay my paper on there. Now I am going to use, and I know I always tell you that the stylish um, shape dies are my favorite die set. Well now watch out because perhaps <laughs> the fabulous frames has taken that place. I love these dies. I use them quite a bit, but I'm going to use this little frame right here. And I'm going to just hold it onto my paper with a little bit of washi tape to make sure that it's straight. Does that look pretty good? Especially because that embossing, the heat from the embossing, have warped my paper just a little bit. A little bit of washi tape here, though. 
and I'm going to just hold it down. And then I also have a strip. Now this is um, just basic white cardstock. I know that it's two and three fourths inches wide, and that's just so it's wide enough to place those two wreath dies right here on my paper. And then I'm going to bring this down. Hopefully those will stay there while I lift it up onto my machine, but we'll see. And then I have another little scrap here of, um, this is that rose gold and gold specialty paper. Love this stuff at Christmas time. But we're going to take that little bow die from the, stand, uh, from the die set and place him right here. So now I think that's all of it. Let's see. Move everything out of the way so I have room to work here. Slide this over. We'll put a plate on top of that. Maybe hold that down a little bit. Bring in the cut and emboss machine. We'll see if this doesn't give me some trouble. Nope, looky there. Worked out just right. And I'm going to just run that right through my machine. There we go. And now I have all my little pieces and parts here. some of these little flakes and pieces out of here so here's my little tag look how cute that is with those frame dies love it I'm gonna put that away before I lose him and then with these I'm even gonna take my die brush here on the end of my take a pick tool and just get rid of all those extra little pieces. And I have the little wreath there of basic white. Let's do the same thing to the other wreath. And there's the second layer. Look, we got a couple more. Let's just take a little extra time, get rid of those little pieces. Here's one more but now we have those. So look at the confetti. Okay, throw those in the trash. Now we have all of our little pieces and parts. Oh, I almost forgot the bow. Let's get the bow out of there too. And look how pretty that bow is out of that gold paper. I love the detail that the um, dies make on that bow. Okay, bring our card base back in and our sample so you can see what we're doing. The first thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to use my silicone mat just so I can keep my glue where I want it. And I'm going to put that on there. On the back of this with just a little bit of liquid glue. I'm going to just put a little bit of, or little dots of glue on the bigger pieces, or the bigger parts, bigger spots where there's more cardstock. And then I'm going to kind of like place the bigger leaves, I guess you'd call them, where the smaller ones are here, and just layer those two together, something about there. And let that glue dry and do its job. There we go. And then on the back of that, well first, I'm gonna just place this where I think it should go. And then with just a little bit of tape runner on the back of my frame here, Gonna place this down right there and I'm even going to use the lines on my designer series paper to try to get it straight like that there we go then a little bit of glue on the back of my wreath and a little bit goes a long way I don't want it to show on the outs or on the front so I'm just a little bit there hold that down let that glue do its job again And then with some mini dimensionals on the back of my bow here, and I'm going to use my take a pick tool to get those off and on here. I'm going to place one on that side, and one on that side. Take those covers off. And place my bow right here at the bottom of my wreath. And look how pretty and simple. 
Now it just needs to add a little bit more detail, give it a little bit more zing. So I'm going to bring in those enamel effects. I'm going to use the pearl white and the pearl. This is real red. It also has gray in the packet. They come in a packet of three and I have a feeling they're going to last a long time. Let me get my bone folder one more on this here to get it kind of flat. There we go. But I'm going to take the red first and I'm just going to put dots. And what I like to do is I like to put the tip of the nozzle on the paper and then just squeeze till it comes out into the size we want and then just pull it away. And you get those cute little dots right here. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not very good at, you know, getting them spaced apart perfect, but I don't think that part matters. I just think they need some really pretty little red dots on here. There we go. And then on my red little label to make it look like it's bolted to my paper. I'm going to do the same thing with the white. I'm going to just put it in that little or the nozzle by that hole and squeeze until I get the size I want. And there you go. What do you think? It's a really cute card. Pretty simple. Like I said, this is what I did for my spot for tonight's meeting. And then you come back Friday. I'll show you what I do with this stamp set and dies and the coordinating stamp set and dies that was on that great big suite in the holiday catalog and show you another Christmas card that I did for my team swap. All right, that's what I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're here on Facebook, I would love for you to like my channel. That way you'll be um, notified when I go live and you can watch me. Although honestly, that makes me a little bit nervous, but that's okay. And if you're watching on YouTube, I'd love for you to subscribe, hit that bell and make a comment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here on Friday. Bye-bye.